I'm gonna shoot a car video on this guy's mark now me to come play. So I'm shooting this video with intentions that I can put a picture on screen of the before and after or just the uh, the parts before installation. Um, so we'll go from the very first install to the very last install. The first install is going to be Slough Technic cold air intake. Uh, this is going to be from ECS. As you see there, ECS tuning came with this filter, this coupling, uh, this little divider wall, and then you can buy this additional uh i don't know if you can see that on camera this gold reflecting gold to kind of heat help with the heat management yeah so the next part is going to be rs4 style grill this grill was uh made to look like the rs4 grill for this vehicle uh kind of just a whole different design and it had the uh, the markings on the bottom that said quattro and uh I think silver lettering. The whole grill was black as opposed to all this chrome and uh, it had like a honeycomb design to it. The only problem I had with it were the cutout for the sensors um, didn't quite line up for me so it, the sensors would go off sporadically. Oh my god my dog's trying to be in this video. Okay so the sensors went off sporadically and I, I looked at forums and they uh, I seen some of the same problems and now I can't even find this this uh grill online so i'm assuming they discontinued it probably because of that problem um but uh, overall like i said it just felt cheap but that grill itself cost four hundred dollars uh, i got it yeah i got it marked down here as four hundred dollars i bought it off emd auto um i still have it i just took it off because of the whole sensor situation so then i went back to this factory grill that came with the vehicle but uh i work in a auto body shop so i had the painter paint this portion of the grill i had to take off all these chrome inserts and then uh had this painted like a matte black all right so the next upgrade is going to be the jv4 uh piggyback tune from burger motorsports if i'm uh pronouncing that correctly i can't show you that i can probably throw a picture up on the screen um i actually got rid of that for my next tune i'll go over that here in a second michelin pilot sports i think i spent about a thousand dollars on those those are gonna be 255 35 zr19s here they are here they're about a year old now i think 255 is about as wide i can go on these stock rims but while I'm down here, I also got these rims powder coated black. They used to be, let's see if I can get it on camera. They used to be a, like a silver uh, matte grayish color that was also the color of the grill and uh, a piece of trim piece on the back. Kind of like this, I guess. Uh, but I think it looks way better, gloss black. And then that powder coat is just going to be a better finish overall. Yeah, the next upgrade I'm going to have is the CTS Turbo High Flow catted down pipe so this is gonna be a little hard to see but uh at least you can see a sneak peek of it back there um actually he popped his engine cover off you can see it a little better yeah i think you can see a little bit better there all right so this down pipe uh from cts turbo online price was 549 dollars this install was a nightmare to get to just some of these bolts that you have to get to and the way they're orientated is just a mess um, i would recommend if you do this install to have a lift because you're gonna have to get in the engine bay and also under the car and back and forth to get this installed to work properly but if you get it installed it does sound good i do recommend it okay so the high flow cat down pipe uh from CTS Turbo is significantly smaller than the factory so you're not going to be able to see too much of it there but this is the factory one here next to Ace um, and this thing is just massive it's heavy it's massive 
as you see you can see the catted pipe here runs from i think from this portion all the way down here and the factory i mean the uh the aftermarket runs about half the size of that and then all this is uh, significantly smaller as well it's just a nice cleaner setup on the cts turbo one uh, than the factory one like i said this thing is just massive um, this does come with heat shielding the oem one so something that you're not going to have on the cts turbo one but like i said you can add that uh, i recommend to do before the install um because after the fact it's going to be a lot more difficult the next performance part is going to be the Wagner Tuning Competition Intercooler Kit. That cost me about 900 bucks. Uh, you're not really going to be able to see it. You can probably see a sneak peek of it back there. Um, this intercooler is massive. It's um, probably about twice the size of the stock intercooler. The stock one is puny for this vehicle. Um, so upgrading that can't really hurt anything in my opinion. And that Wagner Tuning one is... Uh, pretty nice All right, So one thing I wanted to go over was that uh, Wagner tuning intercooler like I said, you're not gonna be able to see it, but um, uh, The install was relatively simple. You do have to pull this bumper um, To get to some of the components as well behind it you have to pull um, but once you get that installed um, it utilizes the The factory mounting points for the factory intercooler that ran across the bottom. So you use these two mounting points here and here and then it has mounting points in the middle that give you L brackets to mount into the impact bar. Uh, those didn't line up to those didn't line up for me in any way so I had to kind of manipulate that to mount properly and still have enough gap between the intercooler and the radiator. So uh, just a fair warning if you do get that intercooler that's something that you might run into on this platform the B9S4 next upgrade is going to be kw Haas kit you're not going to be able to see it at all but you can see maybe the fitment of my vehicle here um obviously the kw Haas kit is the height adjustable springs you're still utilizing your stock suspension you're just swapping out those springs so you can adjust that height um look who's back okay so the height in the front i'd like to say is very minimal right i can get like fingers here across and across the back um probably just a tiny bit more like you said i can get i can't get two fingers so like one finger in the back probably about the same in the front uh, i like the fit man it kind of levels everything out um i think overall i dropped everything maybe about an inch inch and an eighth maybe uh that kit was 859 dollars and that install took me <clears throat> about a good eight hours um ran into a couple problems with that install the biggest one being on the back the biggest problem being on the back you have sensors connected to your suspension and you actually have to deep in those you can't just unplug them you have to deep in them which is a whole process because Audi has specific tools and uh, we had to kind of work around that. But overall, the install wasn't too crazy if you have a little bit of experience, but it was a little bit of a headache. All right, so the next uh, performance upgrade is going to be the APR Stage 1 tune. That cost $859 and it took about two days. I had to take out this module. Um, it just pops out and you got a, a couple harnesses here i shipped it out overnight they unlocked it installed the software shipped it back to me overnight and had it installed the next day um i'll try to throw some of the specs up on the screen if i can figure that out um but apr stage 1 to 93 octane they're claiming 441 horsepower and 483 foot pounds of torque with that stage 1 tune all right, so the next upgrades are gonna be, I, I purchased them all online from ECS. Uh, ECS Post Throttle Valve Charge Pipe Kit. Um, so it's gonna be this whole kit from, oh, starting way down there into the inner cooler, connected to the inner cooler, and then you got this, obviously this red powder coated pipe here, uh, aluminum, their own couplings, and then it's just 
manual all throughout here. So that whole system cost me $480 and I replaced the stock plastic pipes. Um, this was just really a uh, one aesthetic modification because I do like the way that red pops out like that um but also kind of just future proofing so if i later on want to do a stage two and do maybe a turbo upgrade uh i know that all these charge pipes will be able to hold that pressure and not blow out like possibly the frac factory pipes would all right and while we're here i also have the big bore cast aluminum turbo inlet pipe from ecs this pipe here um, this whole install, I did it together. So this turbo inlet pipe and this whole charge pipe kit took a few hours. Uh, as you imagine, this whole engine compartment's pretty tight. So getting some of these fittings in and out and lined up uh, was a bit of a headache, which I expected. And I'm happy with the results. Got no leaks. Uh, everything lined up quite well. Um, like I said, overall, it looks pretty good. It had some some color to this engine bay and the last upgrade i got is going to be the apr upgraded ignition coils for a set of six this cost me uh i want to say 240 dollars is what i got marked down and you can't really see them but they added like also a little pop of red color to me you see a little bit of them there but uh obviously three on each side uh, and uh, see a little see a little bit of a sneak peek in there of the apr upgraded coils um online they uh claim to have a 10 percent online they claim to have a 10 percent energy output um that's not something you're gonna feel or necessarily even need um on a stock engine uh, like so that's really just future proofing as well if i decide to go stage two it's one less thing i gotta do or worry about and yeah that's about everything i got on my upgrades uh just a quick overlook of the engine bay i just cleaned this filter i think i got over twenty thousand miles on it and it was filthy so i cleaned that yesterday so that looks pretty good but overall i think this engine bay looks pretty good i hate how this is exposed but um they do sell covers for it but this thing gets so hot i felt if i put a cover over this it would possibly just melt it like this thing gets crazy hot so uh, for now it's exposed if i figure out a better way to deal with that i will do so and this engine in general gets super hot so i do recommend some kind of heat management i do want to uh wrap that uh i do want to wrap the down pipes the high flow catted down pipes i should have wrapped them when i installed them or before i installed them that would have been ideal but um We'll see what we can do about those. I think I'll wrap a sleeve around them or something. But to, to wrap them where they are now is going to be pretty difficult. And I definitely would not uh, want to uninstall them, wrap them, and reinstall them. Because like I mentioned before, that install was a nightmare. But yeah, that's uh, basically all the parts I got for my vehicle um, thus far. Here's Ace again hanging out with me the whole time while I'm videotaping um so yeah that's what I got all right guys this is take five on the launch control this is gonna be my last one